Hello and welcome, Cancer. I am Pisces Intuition here with your weekly reading. All right, Cancer, let's get started. See what is coming in, what is going on, and what is it that Cancer needs to know. All right. Keep in mind, this is a general reading, so not everything's going to resonate with your situation, and that's okay. Just take what does and leave the rest behind. All right, Cancer, what is coming out for Cancer? What is it that they need to know? And give us something good. All right, so you're getting the Ace of Voices. You're getting the Page of Emotions. The three of uh, voices and then the eight of voices. Bottom of the deck, we do have five of inspiration. All right. So you could be having some struggles here. Um, yeah, it does feel like you're kind of getting past some heartbreak or somebody could be hiding some emotions or, you know, hiding their heartbreak, hiding their feelings, you know, hiding their hurt, hiding their pain, um, you know, really not wanting to let anybody know that they are going through, you know, a really hard time. Um, with the eight of voices, you know, this is, it's kind of that suffering in silence type of situation is what I keep getting with these cards. Um, with the eight of voices here, though, again, just feeling kind of trapped, you know, kind of stuck not being able to really see things clearly or, you know, see any good coming anyway. I keep getting somebody's like really kind of down, um, really just kind of focused on the negative, um, just kind of like, you know, yeah, just feeling really stuck, really kind of depressed. It's kind of like a very um, depressive, you know, type of energy that's coming in. Um, but it does look like, especially with the page of emotions and the ace of voices, it's like we have two dark cards and the light in the middle. So we are getting some kind of clarification here. Even though this is a struggle, we are getting some new beginnings here. We're getting a new opportunity. Um, we're really kind of focused on self-love. We're focused on healing, pulling back your power with that solar plexus energy and focusing on your heart chakra as well, you know, healing that heart space. Um, with the five of inspiration, it does feel like, you know, you're kind of reflecting. It's like a lot of things are just kind of catching up with you. It's like you're really just kind of going through a tough time. You know, emotionally speaking, like I said, it kind of feels like you're trying to um, suppress that or just trying to hide that from other people. Hmm. Yeah, because it's like either you don't want to come off as being weak or you just don't like other people either like knowing your troubles or, but you know, it's like cancer, you're human. <laughs> You know, you're going to go through some emotional issues. It just feels like you're going through a situation that is really kind of hard. It's taking a toll. But I'm seeing a light at the end of the tunnel for you. <clears throat> With the Ace of Voices, like I said, you know, new opportunity, some clarity, some enlightenment. Um, it's like you are being heard. For somebody, I keep getting that you're not being seen. You're not being heard. And it's like, you know... Nobody else sees my pain. So I don't know if it's something that you're trying to hide or it's just like nobody is acknowledging or seeing what you're going through. But I don't think you're telling anybody either, Cancer. All right, let's clarify the Ace of Voices, please. <clears throat> All right, so we have the Eight of Cups. We have the World. And we have the Six of Cups. Okay, so you could have recently walked away from a soulmate energy or a soulmate energy could have walked away from you. Um, for some of you, you know, especially with this world card, you know, cycle has ended, you know, it's come to some kind of completion. Um, but this is also telling me that with this eight of cups, you know, it's like you're walking away from a situation. I feel it's like you're walking out of this darkness, out of this kind of depressive state. And it's like that cycle is closing. It's like that tough cycle is coming to an end and you're getting ready to start something new with the six of cups here. You could be going towards a soulmate energy. You could be going towards some kind of happiness. This could also speak to healing, um, you know, family issues or, you know, healing issues, you know, from your childhood. <clears throat> All right, let's go to the page of emotions. We have the Ten of Swords, we have Judgment, and we have the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, it feels like for a long time you've kind of been hanging on to this, um, this betrayal or this 
whatever this ending is, whatever this heartbreak is, whatever this betrayal is. All right, but it's like with this judgment card here, you're getting a second chance. You're seeing things differently. You're pulling your power back and you're focusing on healing. Yeah, with this Four of Pentacles, it doesn't mean that not only have you been just kind of hanging on to this, but like I said, it feels like you're pulling your power back. It's like you're trying to heal. So whatever this situation is that you're healing, you're definitely doing it. It really feels like you're going forward somehow. Um, it feels like you're overcoming. Yeah, again, this could have something to do with like financial issues, um, family issues, relationship, you know, even like I said, things from childhood. All right, the three of voices, please. We have the queen of cups. So being very in your emotion. Yeah, three of swords. So we have three of swords clarifying the three of swords. Um, and then the hermit card. Yeah, it really feels like you've kind of pulled yourself away. You needed to heal this heart space. You needed to heal this pain. With the queen of cups, this is really being deep in your emotions. Like I said, I keep getting that, you know, somebody could suffer, you know, possibly from depression here. Um but like I said, I am getting that, you know, you are on the road to healing. You are finding yourself. You're doing that soul searching. You know, this isn't an easy task, but you're doing it. You are healing. You're pulling that power back. <clears throat> you know, you're really focusing on your feelings. Some, there's definitely been like a trigger here or something to kind of make this like bubble to the surface. All right. Eight of voices. We have the three of wands. We have the King of Pentacles, and we have the Three of Pentacles. Okay, so we've got a couple threes here. Um, but this is really speaking towards waiting for a new opportunity, waiting for something new to come in, waiting to, um, you know, waiting for stability, waiting for security. You know, the Three of Pentacles speaks of, you know, uh, some type of, like, collaboration, some type of teamwork. You know, this is also focusing on two becoming one. Um, so this could be, like I said, a family issue. This could be um, trying to make something work. Hmm. Yeah, so this may even involve, like, you having to seek outside help, you know, whether this is, like, you know, speaking to friends, kind of opening up about your, you know, problems, what you're going through, things like that, or if this is, like, going to a therapist, whatever the case is, it does feel like some outside, you know, helper, like I said, a friendship, like, something else is needed because, you know, cancer, you don't need to be keeping all this inside, you know, definitely release that. You know, it's like you're starting on that healing process. But, you know, talking is definitely going to help you and really get you on your way to that new beginning. All right. With the five of inspiration, we have the Empress. Beautiful, beautiful. We have the King of Wands. And we have the devil. So, yeah, so this is getting past toxic uh, relationship. This is getting past some kind of toxicity or something that's been keeping you bound, something that's been holding you back. And this is taking action towards a rebirth, towards a regrowth. Like I said, that rebirth and that regrowth does not happen overnight, but it does happen. It happens in time. And this is what you're really moving towards. So, like I said, it feels like something really triggered you here. Um, okay, but the card we have coming out for the Moonology Oracle is Expect Powerful Change. Yeah, and I am seeing that, like I said, going towards, it's like you're coming out of the darkness, going into the light with that Ace of Swords and then the, um, the Page of Emotions. You know, it's all about that self-love. It's all about healing. It's all about removing those blockages, you know, even using like creative ways to do so. All right, um, so then we have, what do you need to release? So yeah, so like I said, really, you know, especially going back to that Four of Pentacles, um, hanging on to something, hanging on to past hurts, you know, something along those lines. And then we have the end of a tough cycle approaches. Um, going back to that world card, remember how I said it feels like that tough cycle is approaching, and then we have an end of a tough cycle approaches. So beautiful, beautiful. All right, let's get some romance angels just to see any advice, seeing what's coming in or anything Virgo needs to know, or not Virgo, I'm sorry, um, anything Cancer needs to know. Okay, beautiful. What did I say? Uh, let your friends help you. Like I said, it feels like 
there needs to be um, some kind of outside, you know, outside help here coming into this situation. So if this is opening up to a friend, letting them know what you're going through, you know, whatever, um, whatever it is, you know, therapy, you know, therapist, um, a counselor, you know, whoever you have access to, whoever you feel comfortable opening up to, this is doing that. Let your friends help you, you know, ask for and accept support from others. You don't have to go through tough situations by yourself. All right, so then we have, um, for your little message, your charmed message here, uh, you are worthy of so much more than what I can give you right now. Okay, so that could be a message, you know, from someone from your past, that could be a message from you to someone, or that could be a message, um, you know, from you to yourself. Let's take it how it resonates. All right, so to close this up, we are going to get some charms here. All right, so Virgo, or why do I keep saying Virgo? Are you guys dealing with a Virgo? <laughs> we do have the Hermit card here, so I don't know. Are you dealing with a Virgo? I don't know. You've got that Virgo energy going on, something here. Okay. Um, so I'm just going through your charms here. So we've got that little gear. We've got the heart and the arrow, the little girl with the basket. Okay. Yeah. See, you know how I said this? it feels like something kind of triggered you. Um, there's been some kind of, there's like a snake that, well, that charm is a snake, but it just feels like there's been something that's been kind of festering, something that, you know, is needing to shed its skin, something that is needing to, again, come into light, require some kind of transformation. Um, we do have the charm of Sagittarius here. So you could be dealing with a Sagittarius, or this is just saying be optimistic, because that's what it says on the back of the charm, optimistic. All right, then we have a compass, and it really does feel, especially with this hermit doing some soul searching, it really does feel like that's what you're doing right now. You're finding yourself, you're finding your way, you're finding your way towards healing, most importantly. With this key here, it's representing opening up locked doors, you know, where you thought something was once locked or, you know, you weren't privy to. Um, this is having that key to unlock it. This is getting that new opportunity that you do deserve. We have some hearts here that speak of love. We also have a little lock here. So we have the lock and key. So that could be, you know, representative of, you know, again, unlocking something. This could be unlocking those past, you know, traumas, um, you know, to open them up to heal. Like I said, but it, it, for me, it really kind of symbolizes too. You moving forward, you removing those blockages, opening up those doors to new opportunities. Um, like I said, really finding your finding yourself because right now you just feel stuck. You're in that stuck type of energy. But this is all about, you know, regrowth. This is all about rebirth. You know, you've got a couple keys here. Um, the little fish here, you know, again, you know, symbolizing, you know, for me, it's, you know, swimming upstream. It's, you know, swimming out of, you know, some troubled waters is what I keep getting for you, though. With the butterfly, again, transformation. Your word charm says, I choose strength. So, yeah, so again, really finding yourself, um, the little girl with the basket, this just represents, you know, a gift could be, you know, coming in. Um, this could represent also like a new opportunity, which, you know, you do have an opportunity coming in. Um, somebody could have been playing games with you. Maybe that's what kind of triggered this, you know, whole thing, this whole situation. Hmm. Yeah, because it's like we have one heart, but it's like it's still not it's not filled. And so it's still requiring like, you know, that self love, like how you feel about yourself. And then with this particular heart, with the arrow going through it, it does feel like you find love. It does feel like, you know, Cupid's arrow, you know, hits you, you know, when it's time, but it's like right now you need to love yourself first. You need to focus on your healing, um, and make that heart whole because it just feels like there's a lot of pain here. Like I said, a lot of stress, a lot of just kind of, you know, stuff going on here. But there is, again, a lot of healing, like I said, especially with this compass and the hermit card, finding your way, shedding your skin and going towards that transformation with the butterfly. So, all right. All right. Well, that is what I have for you, Cancer. So I do hope this helps. Um, and until next time, take care.